Hello, welcome to the video for the, I guess this would be a proto-prototype of the bidirectional buck boost converter. We've got um, pretty much uh, the 48 volts coming in here. I've got both of these guys are in that IGBT, which is located right here. I have the top uh, IGBT wired so it's shorted out so it can't turn itself on. And same with the, um, the other two bricks are also, you can see my little, I just put solder through there to keep the gates forced to the um, emitters so they can't turn themselves on. And we've got this uh, 600 volt cap is actually this 400 volt cap. The inductor, of course, is this guy right here. And for our load, we're using a single 100 watt light bulb. Everybody else is unscrewed so they're not actually they're not actually hooked up. I've got my voltmeter measuring across here uh, so we can see what the voltage is. We've got my function generator is currently set to one kilohertz, well thereabouts, and we've got about a 20% duty cycle. Uh, this has been pre-set up to boost convert 48 volts to 120 volts to light up the light bulb. Uh, we don't have this hooked up right now so I just touch that to that and that'll cause it to start boost converting. We've got a circuit breaker in here that is a 5 amp uh, 80 volt circuit breaker and on my battery pack here I have that battery, that battery, that battery, and that battery hooked up in series. That's the only ones that are used and you can see the little black wire coming across here and that goes to the circuit breaker and then up to the negative side of the rail and the only reason the circuit breaker is in the negative one is the wire wasn't long enough because it's at the back end of the stack there and so that's the one I did. Normally you would put in the positive side but that wire was long enough to make it there. So looks like we're ready to go. I'm going to flip this on and when I do the light will turn on uh, and we'll get 48 volts and in the previous video I discussed how this causes a parasitic uh, path through here through that diode. So you always have whatever's hooked up over here will be on the output. So this um, contactor here that will be in the final design is actually kind of acting like this little circuit breaker that I've got in here now. And then you might be wondering also why we're only running at one kilohertz, and that's just because the output, as we know, is 50 ohms on this uh, function generator, and that's not quite enough to drive these big, the, the capacitance of these big IGBT bricks. And so I've got it really low frequency just to help the function generator do its job. Otherwise the rise time is just not fast enough for it to do anything and uh yeah looks like we're ready so i'm gonna go ahead and flip this on and you'll see i've got the light bulb lights up dimly it's not you know it's not like it's a full brightness and we're putting out you can see 48 volts coming through there and we'll go ahead and flip it on and now you can see my output is 124 volts and you can see that it's decaying and that's simply because my the battery pack voltage is actually dropping so it's longer putting out 48 it's probably putting out like 47 or so so as it decays it's going to obviously not it's not regulating because we just have it set based on this and you can see my uh, poor function generators trying to turn on these IGBTs and it's just you know not really able to do it but and you can hear it whining at 1k um, <clears throat> But there you go. That's what's happening. It is, um, it's working. So this would be the prototype. And of course we can get more voltage out of it if I go turn it up. But this, this path is um, happening here. We got 48 volts. We're going across through the inductor when this guy turns on. And we store energy. And then when he turns off, can't go that way. So we fly up through the, bo through the body diode. And then we put voltage out here. And that's it. 120 some volts good to go so that's pretty much the pre-production prototype or I guess it's not really going to go into production it's just for me but uh, proto prototype of the bidirectional buck boost converter and uh, if we were to fire the other IGBT and we had um, uh, pack voltage on here instead like say 144 volts we'd actually buck convert back over and charge the 48 volt battery, but we're not going to test that because we know that'll work too. Um, so eventually we'll have a microcontroller in there controlling the uh, IGBT, and when we have that, 
then we'll be able to actually regulate. So if we command 120 volts, we should be getting exactly 120 volts, not, you know, this is purely by me. I can go and adjust here. And then we'll, we'll change the voltage. So if you wanted around 120 volts, you could actually dial it in. So right now it's like man in the middle, right? So the microcontroller should be doing that. So what do I got? 119.9. That's pretty close. There you go. Thanks for watching.